There we go. All right. So yeah. So last we left off, Icarath, you was it mushrooms? I want to say. Yes, it was a magic mushroom. Magic mushrooms, and uh, he decided he wanted to swim with the krakens. That's not a euphemism. That's literally he, he just wanted to swim with the bearded krakens. Um, he, I think you ended up drowning, if I recall correctly. Is that how they finally got you? <laughs> Everybody fucking ended up drowning. Yeah, I think you ran out of HP and passed out, though. I could be wrong. Or somebody I hit you. I think that happened twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they did revive you, and then you yeah, did it again. Yeah, they revived me, and I kept going. <laughs> um, so you eventually got knocked out. They dragged you back to the inn and tied you to the bed uh, where you are uh, three days later. Two days later. You die of thirst in three days. Two days later. And you are finally waking up. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> uh, there's no answers yet. There's no answers. Uh, can I set... Can I set the ropes on fire with Firebolt without, like, fucking setting everything in the room on fire? Um... You can't see me right now, but I'm like... Uh... I mean, you're tied to the bed. It's a wooden bed with cloth. You're spread eagle, so the only real direction you could use either of your hands to push it straight out, which would engulf the ropes, but would probably also... Well, I'm thinking he would grab the ropes. He would grab the ropes, and then he'd just set them on fire with... Like, so that way, they, the only target they could possibly hit was the ropes. Or so he hopes. You can do that. Roll two fire bolts worth of damage, though. Well, no, not, yeah, just roll damage to hit uh, both. Uh, so take 17 damage, apparently. Um, because you're basically immolating your own hands at that point. If they're closed around the ropes, and that's their only direction. Um, yeah, that's but, fair. But you are able to uh, burn the ropes off, but your hands are very, very severely burned. Oh, jeez. You, I mean, you're down to nine health because you rolled seventeen on damage. <laughs> oh, jeez. But your arms are free. Well, I mean, this is this is not a good this is not a good day to be Icaref. Goodness sakes, what a fuck! Uh, and he leans down. He unties the rest of himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you are free it is early morning uh two days after your intrepid kraken adventures um go ahead uh yeah he'll walk downstairs um i can't walk downstairs my token won't move oh wait that's right it's a drawing never mind so yeah he walks downstairs to the bartender and <laughs> says oi brother you're thinking that I, I'm thinking that I should have some water before I have a bunch of booze. And then I would like a bunch of booze after the water on account of it's been a morning and the morning's just started, mate. How much booze do you want? Like, not a lot, a lot, but like enough to be like, oh, that's some fucking booze, you know? No, no record attempts today. No. Oh, fucking. Oh, God, no. Well... So, no. uh, that'll be, uh, one and a half gold. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Here you go. He puts down a large glass of water and he, uh, puts down three shots, uh, next to it. Half a gold is five silver, right? Yes. Okay. If I say 50, I'm wrong. <laughs> but I say it all the time. Uh, so Igarath will chug all of them, starting with the water and then going to the booze. All right. Um, three con saves. The first one at disadvantage. All 
all right, you're comfortably drunk. You're not like you can still function. Like you, you, you probably shouldn't drive exactly a motorized vehicle. Exactly where I wanted to be. You should probably shouldn't drive a motorized vehicle, but I mean, you can get around town. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. And we're gonna <clears throat> put the poison symbol on you. Because <coughs> that's the drunk that's symbol. Prime. <laughs> that's prime grog. That is that is a prime grog. Now, my buddy, my friend, my short little mate. Where's me companions gone to? I think. I think one of them tied me up. Uh, he says they all tied you up. From what I heard, you tried to fuck a kraken. Well, and here's a more important part. Uh, what you may not have heard was the Kraken was trying to fuck me first. So it wasn't like gross. It was mutual. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious if you came running into the city on a Kraken? Is that city on the water? I just got to look real quick. It is on the water. <laughs> Dude, I am absolutely down to take some more magic mushrooms and go and have the entire time that we've been gone have me just been. You would have to get out, get get allowed to be out of the city though, because right now you have a enchantment on you, if you recall, that if you leave the city, it will instantly strangle you to death. Oh. I do not recall that, but that does sound like something that would happen to us. So, yeah. Yeah, basically um, what happened is you guys found the gnome city. You went to the big guy. Um, there was some pleading and done, and they didn't immediately kill you, but they did put a curse on the entire party um, where if you leave the Nomerian city, uh, basically it's a, it's a curse around your neck, and it will just tighten and choke you to death. Um, out of character, the rest of the party... Ended up defending against the siege of, um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, have you ever played Darkest Dungeons? No. Okay. Then, what are these things called? Are they gross? They're really gross. I'm just, I That's cannot. That's good enough for me then. I'm just trying, I just, I, the name is bothering me. Eldritch. Eldritch Horrors is what they were. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Gross. looked like, if you want to see, uh, let's go find one of the Shadow Realms. There should be some left there. Um, there we go. There should be some dead things left here. Oh, no. Most of them fell off. There were some zombies. Yeah, there was a lot of ledge falling off that happened in party two uh it looks like they got killed here <laughs> I, re I remember the ledges being pretty gnarly okay so though none of them are there but uh oh he will tell you um so back to the gnomes again uh he will tell you however that the party that you were with they're they're the heroes of the city uh, they fought off the Eldritch invasion, um, and they and they were they're they're the only people ever allowed out of outsiders allowed out of the city in the last five hundred years. Well, me, but that seems like kind of a a high bar to set. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to meet up with that and like actually catch up to them? Like, did they did they become so heroic that they were like, you know what? Icky's just up there. Let's just leave them. We don't need them. And they just fucking left without me. They did. Also, those are what they fought. He does. This, this is what he describes to you. Just a second. These things sitting out those are here. Nasty. Yeah, those things are the things I like that the, I like the puppy dog one though, <laughs> and 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 the one on the top right that looks like an evil otter of some sort, <laughs> but they look nasty. Yeah, so that's what they fought off, and they saved the city from almost certain destruction. And as a result, they were awarded the titles Heroes of the Gnomes. But they are not allowed to talk to anybody. If they should ever talk to anybody about it, then they will die. You know, curses. That actually sounds pretty crazy. So, um, how does one go about 
talking to whoever I need to talk to in order to leave the city. Because uh, obviously I want to talk to people about it and make sure it's okay first before I, I do so. Because I don't want to die. But he says, I can, I could maybe arrange an audience. I believe that that might be preferable on account of, um, I've got an headache. <laughs> What's going to make it worth my while? Uh, well, first of all, you won't have a weird man tied up in your bed upstairs anymore. They prepaid uh, a month for you, so I don't care. Uh, well, in that case, you'll get to pocket the difference between however long I've been here. I already pocketed it. What do you got new right. for me? I know, I'm not. I'm saying if you don't, then I'm going to stay here for the entire month and you won't make any profit because it's we'll have already been I've seen you for. drink. I'm going to make lots of profit. I won't drink here. I think I might be done with drinking for a little bit just because apparently bad things happen to me <laughs> while I'm drunk. Well, to be fair, now, you, you were high, not drunk for that on one. On the other hand, mate, he said, you have any mushrooms. You mean like these and he holds up a handful from under the counter? Just drool starts dripping from Icarath's fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, just like those. It's only just five like gold. Those. Well, fuck me. He charged me 80 last time. These are not as good as mushrooms. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'll take him for five gold. That's not very much. <laughs> so he, he pulls out five gold. All right. He hands you over the um, weirdly twisted and shaped looking mushrooms. They look like they were like grown by a amateur in a back room somewhere. Like like somebody took some of the mushrooms that existed. Um, let me flip back over. Because the, the mushrooms are native to right here. Yeah, I remember these mushrooms. These look like an amateur tried to uproot some and grow them in a back room. Okay. Well, either way, Icarath will pocket yep. the mushroom for later because he thinks he has to do some business right now. And maybe maybe that's not the time for this. Um, he says, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. Oh, okay, yeah. A deal is a good deal mm. to Mike. Um, I'll make you a deal. You convince... The king to let you out of the city. Yeah, that's what I want. You convince him to do that. You come back to me. You give him, and he hands you this bag. And says, you come back and you fill this, this two, two pound bag. Full of mushrooms. From the river. And I will arrange the meeting for you. I'm thinking if you had another bag for me to fill for me, this would be a very, very good arrangement. He says, he'll sell, bag. You, he says he'll sell you a one pound bag for 25 gold. Well, Mike, that's just stupid because a bag is not worth 25 gold. Supply I will find and a demand. bag somewhere. <laughs> no, that's called lying and demanding. <laughs> you, you charlatan. But... You're also being very friendly, and you sold me some lovely mushrooms, so I will fill this bag of mushrooms that has no mushrooms in it as of yet, and then I will return triumphant and be like, Bitch, I've got your drugs. All right, so you take the bag, and when you grab the bag, it immediately feels ice cold. Um, I think your bag is broken, mate. It, it's it, all cold. It's supposed to be cold. That's the that's the preservation enchantment on it. Oh, so like for the mushrooms to last longer inside the bag. Yes, you've seen what happens when they're left out. So that's why that's why you wanted to twenty five because you were going to sell me another cold bag. Yes, if you weren't so oh, arrogant okay. about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I actually don't even quite have 25 gold. I have just less than that. So let's do this. Let's play a game. And if I win, then you give me the bag. And if you win, you have to give me the bag, but I have to fill it up with mushrooms and give it back to you. 
So that way you get two bags of mushrooms instead of one. Um, one second. Let me click on you real quick. Because I don't know if you remember this about Icarath, but he fucking loves gambling. He does. Um, Almost as much as mushrooms. He says, <laughs> you give me your clothes if you lose, and you fill up my an extra bag. All right, I'll... Wait, and? No, that's... It's not how we play the game. That's it. If you ain't got money to wager, you got the clothes on your back. I'm not offering clothes on my back. I'm offering... We're negotiating. I've been sleeping in this for three days straight. You really want to fucking touch it? It stinks like me. Like... Buddy, you don't even understand. I've been sleeping for three days straight. I'm an elf. We don't sleep. I have no clue what the fuck is happening. <laughs> we do trances. We just sit there and we go, oh. I snored for the first time ever and my throat feels all fucking weird. All right. Um, Tell you what, if you want to play for something fucking worth seeing, since apparently you're pervy and you want to see me without my clothes, I could play a couple nights in the inn for you uh, with me loot, and I could I could draw a crowd. I mean, people will come to see the guy who slept for three days play a loot, even if it's not any good. <laughs> Hmm. He's thinking. Tell me, did you hear about the time where I played my loot so good I almost fucked a Kraken? <laughs> he says he did hear about that time. He yeah. says you've got a deal, but let's see, where is this in relation to things in the city? Um... Yeah, there's no water. All right, yeah, he he goes with that. So what's the game? Uh, the, the, the challenge party gets to pick the weapons, I believe, is how duels work. So oh, if you want to choose something, we can choose something. Otherwise, I'm just going to say let's play cards. All right. Um, one second. And with that, Icarath pulls out his card deck and he starts fucking shuffling like a madman. Uh... Come on. Why can I not find anything? Um... There we go. Okay. So, Blackjack. Oh, you want to play fucking Blackjack? Oh, if you want to play Blackjack, I'll play, but I'm the fucking house, because I've got the cards. I believe it's my house. It's my... I'm the house. I believe this is an inn, so you clearly don't know what you're talking about. I because sleep here. I don't play Blackjack unless I'm the house, on account of it's a gnarly game, and it takes guts. I don't know if you got the insinuation, but I'm saying I'm kind of gutless when it comes to blackjack. And I'm being, like, self-deprecatory in, in, in the hopes that you go, All right, that's actually kind of funny. You can try and roll Persuasion. Persuasion. Ooh! All right, he'll let you be the house. All right, then. So, your first card is a five. Just, th a just th this is just out of, this is out of character, obviously, but how, how do you play blackjack uh, here? Because I played blackjack with my players the other day, and we were just rolling d12s for cards. Oh, I'm just, I, I got a thing. Do you actually have cards? Uh, I have a, I found a thing online to pull. Nice. 
So we'll start again. So your first card, your face up card is a 10 of diamonds. I need to write this down. Excuse me. So Icarath has a 10 of diamond up. And a wow. An ace of spades is the up card for him. <laughs> So yeah, he'll he'll stay with that. <laughs> Depends on what he gets as a secondary ick, and then. Well, no, with blackjack you 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 get dealt two cards. Yeah, no, I'm dealing the face ups first, and then I'm dealing the face downs. Oh, so that wasn't Icarus. That's yeah, his. That's what. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And your second card is an Ace of Hearts because you're a lucky son of a bitch, and you don't know what he's got. So I have a ten and an Ace. You do. Fucking A. Yeah. I'm and... going to get me a bag of mushrooms, mate. <laughs> Icarath just calls that yep. to, uh, he calls to somebody else. And... And... Yeah, you win that hand. You're getting a bag a free ba uh, bag with uh, that can hold one pound of mushrooms. Um, it's a bag of preservation. Oh, sweet. I'm adding that to my character sheet. And it, um, it acts basically like a freezer. One pound bag of preservation yep all right mate now that was a good got more importantly you need your mushrooms i need my mushrooms where the fuck do i go and is there a specific mushroom you want me to pick for you and also what's the difference because if i recall there were several different colors and stuff and i'd hate for you to go to all this work only for me to fuck it up let's go back to there look at the colors um, the yellow ones are the best. The best is in they get you the most fucked up, or the best is in they're the most expensive. Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. It is fair enough for me. I will fill you a bag, and I promise that I will fill your bag before I fill my bag. So if something happens out there, uh, you will get your mushrooms, even if I don't get mine. Um. Also, if there's not enough good mushrooms to go around because they're not ripe right now, you will get your mushrooms first. But out of curiosity, what would be a second choice in case I wanted to put the second choice in my bag instead of in your bag for me? On probably the, probably nice the pinkish red ones, but not a lot of people are brave enough to buy those. Oh, uh, there's been, you know, Icarath, he's thinking right now, those are probably the good ones to get. Uh, the last time I found somebody who had eaten one of those, uh, they were paralyzed from the neck down because they believed that they were diving from a diving board. Uh, off the top of the mage's focus into the water, but they misjudged the jump and landed on their back on the ground from four stories in the air. Well, fuck me, but that sounds fun. <laughs> I think, I think this is going to turn out to be very, very good for both of us, sir. Very good for both of us. Um, I'm just going to have me a wee nap real quick before I head out and then I will head out and I promise I will bring you back many many mushrooms all right uh, mostly because I took the damage from burning the ropes off so <laughs> yes I just want my HP back just in case all right so you're no longer drunk you are healed back up it's like uh nearing end of the day evening um, when you come back down, he hands you a um, a letter, a sealed letter, and uh, tells you to present that uh, at the palace, um, and it'll uh, get well, you an audience, but only once. What's that? But I can leave to go get the mushrooms without the enchantment killing me. It right? will kill you. You have to do it after. Oh, so I have to go see the king first. You have to convince him first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and let's go, let's go fucking see the king. Yep, so for care, for reference, if you leave right here, you die. 
You yeah, you basically die. Okay. Um out of character again. I do have a couple of ideas, but they're not necessarily things that like I can do off of my player sheet. Like I'm thinking that if they fought off an invasion, the best thing for Ikarath to do would be to improve the city in some way so that if an invasion shows up without yeah, the party here to defend. Yeah, there's there's almost limitless things you can do, you know, it's not in your character sheet. Um, including well, persuasion. Right, like... Um persuasion, one of the mechanics that I don't know if you have heard, is you can you can roll persuasion for things and have it be versus whatever the check would be. But any character in the game also has the ability to just make a really persuasive speech, and if it's persuasive enough on its own you don't have to roll a check, but you have to choose which one you want to do. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. I remember how, how and I, I appreciate, yeah. I appreciate the fact that you do that. I'm thinking more like Ikarath is currently thinking, how the fuck am I going to yeah. convince the king to let me out? And so his thinking is, I should, if my buddies all pr pr protected the city and got titles and stuff like that, I need to come up with some way that I can make this city more defensible. It might work. And like, I... I can't put walls up. So, like, I want to, like, take, like, some of the spells he knows, for instance, yeah. and, like, imbue them into things. Like, uh, make, a, like, take the king's personal guard and, like, give make items for them that permanently gives the mirror image or um, set up a field of, might of take orbs around the city. Because well, there is a I mechanic mean, for it. But, or, 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 or like he has the spell chromatic orb that fucked up the the boss we fought, Big yeah. Baba Ganoush. Um, set up orbs around the city to be basically activated on command, um, and like have everybody be like, "Hey, the the heroes may have protected us once, but Ikarath, he protected us a bunch. He protected us forever." Let's see, what are the mech mech mech. Um, I'm just rolling down to see what the mechanics I have for that are. Um, progress points. Okay. That would be 20. All right, um, so it would take you 20 days to make one self-activated magic missile uh, item if you found nice. somebody to work with you. Or not, Matt, what's the, what level is the chromatic orb? Chromatic orb is one. Okay, yeah, so, plus, so the one level would be 500 progress points. It would cost you 500 gold if you didn't hire any workers. Yeah, I guess maybe that won't be. Yeah, there's already a system in place for it. Let me send it to you. There you go. It's basically a whole system around crafting magical items. Just slightly modified to be less. Level of worker, unskilled hobo. Yes. So basically, <laughs> this is a magic crafting system that is based loosely on the mechanics given in 5e, but actually made less punishing. So looking at that, it's like half as punishing as what Rules is written as. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> That might not be the route to go here. I'm just trying to think of a way that Ikara can be like, here is an idea that is immediately acceptable to the king. Um, as the other option Ikara would go with is show up and be like, I will play a game for you. Um, and if I win, then I get to leave. And if I lose, I don't want to think about what happens, but... There's a decent chance I'm going to lose, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move 
this back over. That should be labeled over here. Oh, that may have been a mistake. Oh, whatever. Retcon. You know, I think I'll just leave it up to the DM. Ikarath is just going to... He's just going to bounce on into the king's... Uh, up to the king's castle and present his invitation. All right. Uh, the gnome palace. We are here. We need to get rid of more people. All right. Um, so you would start here. Drag my character out. All right. So he walks up and he goes, Hey, who's who I got to talk to about this shot here? And he waves the envelope around. He, they, they take it and they look at it and they say, we're surprised he's uh, called in that favor for, for the, for whatever this is. As it's, uh, and they pocket a sigil. And uh, they escort you through. You got this pool of water there where the party once fought bad things. Oh. I don't know if you were there for that. I don't think nope. so. Nope. Oh, yeah. No, the only time I've been here was when we first got to the city and the king was like, well, fuck. <laughs> All right. So king is there and he uh, says, uh, what's what's his name? Isn't it Barry? Ari. King Ari. No, the um, buddy. Buddy was his name. And he says, so. What causes Barry to call in his marker for you? I owe him a favor, which I cannot complete until I leave the city. And so, great and mighty king, I have come to ask what I might do to be released of this spell that will murder me upon me leaving the city on account of I would like to fulfill my purpose of doing a favor for Barry. Take down the church. We already told you. I'm working on it, but I can't leave. The, I can't take down the church without leaving anyways. What if we um, convert your curse? Convert my curse to what? Instead of not being allowed to leave the city, you are not allowed to speak of the gnomes. And you That's, must I, kill. I don't want to tell anybody anyway. You guys are fucking nice people. Like, I, I don't want to endanger anything, but usually when it's like, I would like a boon, king, the king usually is like, I would like a chore done. And it's not something that usually, like, he wants to get his hands dirty with himself. So this, I, this isn't my first rodeo, you understand? This is like my third rodeo. I will give you 10 years. You can leave. But if the church has not been dealt with in 10 years, then you'll die. What well, if I come back at the end of 10 years for like reinforcements because it's close, but no cigar quite yet? You can renegotiate at any time if you okay. make your way back. But All right, right yes, now, no, no, but there I are mean. no guarantees. 10 years. Well, no, if I do a shit job of trying to kill the church and I come back and I'm like, oh, I need help, then you guys can be like, no, you're a little bitch and you're going to die. But if I'm like, hey, I got like nine tenths of the church dead and the other ten on the run can't find him for fucking save my life, literally, and I just need a little bit more time, you're going to be like, oh, shit, he fucking killed nine tenths of the church. Let's fucking go, mate. You know? All right, so. This is a performance-based issue and my performance has never been called into question before okay copy image address all right so you'll need this the and he passes you a hat that looks kind of like this hat yeah <laughs> wait did everybody get this hat nope oh fuck i have i have a fun hat <laughs> and uh it's a magical hat and it will make you resistant to all psionic attacks. So basically you just roll advantage for any psionic saves. Okay, is the church like full of psionics then? Uh, there's... You don't know why this is useful, but yeah, there's, um, you'll see. Okay, well, yeah, all right. So, uh... They did employ a, a mind flayer at one point. 
Ikarev puts the hat on immediately, and then he goes, anybody got a mirror? Yeah, uh, there's a giant mirror behind the king. Like, uh, yeah, this whole wall just, is a mirror. He'll, he'll walk over to the side and be like, pardon me, sir, and he'll look at himself in the mirror, and he'll just be like, my god, that is a dashing hat. I feel, <laughs> I feel, I feel like, like a duke. Like I'm in charge of the whole fucking world, mate. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I should probably show the video what this looks like. The hat looks like this. <laughs> All right. So he says, well, he uh, motions over to this motherfucker over here who uh, points the staff at you. And you can feel something inside of you changing as the curse revert, uh, changes around. King Ari says, but remember... If a word of this place leaves your lips, you will die immediately. Yeah, this, this fair. This, like I said, I don't. Y'all motherfuckers gave me a hat. And honestly, I would be willing to take down a church just for that, because fuck the church. But like, y'all motherfuckers gave me a hat. Your secrets are safe with me. It's a nice hat, too. Like, advantage against, yeah, like, psionic resistance. <laughs> I mean, even if it didn't do anything, it's a fucking nice hat. Oh, out of character, I just gave you, like, the defensive equivalent of a nuke for the fight coming up. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Icarath will ask the king, uh, am I good to go then? Yes, yes, the spell is completed. Now get out of here. Don't come back till they're done. Oh, we like that. All, all right, well... I'll keep the hat safe. Thanks again. <laughs> and the craft will leave. All right. Did you hear Wes use this code word for the boat or not? I did, but I didn't know what it was until later and you and you and him were laughing about it. So Icarath does not know what the code is. Oh, boy. So you don't really have a way out right now. I mean, you're allowed out. I mean, Icarath was gonna go talk to the krakens honestly all right let's go to the bridge <laughs> <laughs> sure i got some cleanup to take care of here <laughs> a little bit yeah <laughs> all right throw you back on you are walking across town and you're walking across the bridge all right, so Icarath will stop in the middle of the bridge. He'll pull out his loot, and he'll start playing. All right, uh, roll performance. Did that amount to the same thing? Well, yeah. I mean, he's using his loot, so I figured playing yeah. with the loot would probably be best. Yep, so he, uh, you see this pop up above the water. Oh, there, mate. I believe we have unfinished business. She kind of like motions with her tentacle. And Icarath hops right in. All right. She grabs you onto her back. He He's holding onto his hat, though, so it doesn't come off. Yep. And um, <laughs> need to find a map. Because you just never know where things are going to go. I'm just like, the party had a whole intervention specifically so this wouldn't happen again. And then the moment they leave me alone, I'm like, let's go back and talk to him. That is accurate. All right. Save image. Okay. Upload image. We're doing things. <laughs> just have to find it. There we go. We're going to copy that. Wait for this to finish uploading because it's taking forever. There we go. And let's go make a map. Uh, make 10 con saves. 10 con saves. Okay. <sighs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. How many of those are below 15? Uh, not that many, actually. One, two, three, four, 
five five of them so half all right so then roll 5d4 And you take eight drowning damage because you're underwater this whole time. Blub, 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 blub. Uh, and I'm still just uh, building. Oh, what? What? No, you dick. There we go. Right, we're going to put you on here so I don't lose you. To front. Map layer. And then... There we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh oh. Just never get the beard separated from the dwarf. That's what you gotta know. <laughs> I mean the Kraken. Cause it's like six pieces of individual drawing that I just keep copying and moving. <laughs> Okay, so you are gonna move over here, and you're gonna have a new name. Sorry, it's, you can you can illustrate what you're doing while um, while you're underwater. I mean, he's mostly just hanging on with his hat. All right, hanging <laughs> to the hat for dear life. Uh, um, yeah, uh, almost done. Take your time. Cause I this this place didn't exist, but now it does. What the f buttons did I just press? I should really just make a bearded kraken sprite. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let me flip you over uh you finally surface oh no let me also put this where it belongs otherwise everything's gonna get awful because i actually have an organizational system for the map as bad as it is <laughs> and you pop up here on fatty over here In an underground cavern, uh, glowing with a mystical blue light. And you see little motes of light floating around, almost like little insects. And you see a few other bearded krakens scattered throughout the cavern, moving around, doing their thing. Do these Krakens understand common? Like, if I talk to them, will they be able to understand me? I realize they probably won't talk common, but... That's a good question, too. I'm trying to remember. Are they, they are they that. sentient enough to understand complicated they're, communication? They're definitely sentient enough to understand communication. I don't think they understand common. Oh. <laughs> they are, they're very bright. I mean, one of them can talk to the dwarf that she's engaged to, like the, the mother can. And they have whole conversations through a psionic link. But they're, they're, they're like dolphin smart. Okay, so my question is, could I convince one of them to carry me to the city? Um, Using cause... sign language? Or... Uh, I mean, you could you could try with nonverbal cue with nonverbal. Well, also while we're in this cavern, are there any mushrooms in this cavern? Uh, there are not. All right, so I got to figure out a way for them to take me to. Well, yeah, actually, you're, did you're they actually want technically with... under the city. Did they want anything with me? Because they um, seem to want something with me. Fanny and, and is stroking what... your cheek with one of her tentacles. Okay, so... She's heard stories good. of her mother finding a two-legger to marry. 
And she's enamored with the idea, out of character. Okay. Wonder if I could get you to imprint my hat so that way our kids have a bunch of little <laughs> fucking hats. That would be pretty phenomenal. Because I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is the most dashing hat I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and like, it's all wet right now, so maybe you're not getting the full glory of yeah, it. Yeah, your like... feather's a little limp. <laughs> uh, he runs prestidigitation over it. Uh, all right. So it's it's back to it's back to good. So she claps two tentacles together at the magic trick. Oh, you like magic tricks, huh? Um, Icarath will pull his deck of cards out and he will use minor illusion to shuffle them and make them make it look like he's shuffling in ways that aren't physically possible. All right. Uh... You know, adding extra cards, extra hands from his body. Just shuffling like crazy. Performance? And it's shiny. Uh, performance, performance. That's a pretty good performance. She's she's enjoying herself. Her eyes kind of light up with enjoyment. And a couple of the other Krakens are kind of like coming around to like... Oh, nope. Get back to your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to come around to watch. <laughs> uh, you know what because i don't know why the fuck not um icarath is gonna burn a couple spell slots just to to fucking um to mess with these people he's gonna cast distort value on his cards so that way his cards look like they're fucking way more expensive than they actually are and then he's gonna cast mirror image, so there's four of him. And then he's gonna uh, he's gonna cast mage hand, uh, press the digitation, and minor illusion because you can have three cantrips going at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna just shuffle the fuck out of these cards. Um, but he's gonna get it to the point where like he's shuffling in between um, his mirror images and yeah. stuff like that and the cards are flying and arcing and spinning and whizzing and there's noise and it's just it's like a fucking magic show um let's see uh there's four and then you've done what was the prestidigitation for there I believe prestidigitation and uh, can create um, yeah harmless sensory effects like sparks okay. and puff yep. of wind. So it's basically it's adding the pizzazz to the cards themselves, where it's like roll it's... performance at whatever sixteen dice would be. Like roll it sixteen times. Yeah. Okay. Or roll it at advantage eight times and choose the highest. Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter how you get the to get to the sixteen rolls. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two more. Here we go. A twenty-four is not bad. No. I'm kind of surprised I didn't crit. I just fucking rolled sixteen times. Yep. So, uh, so you just roll, and they are enamored with the performance, um, and they absolutely love it. And Thaddeus kind of leaning back in the water and exposing her beak. Sexually suggestively? Uh, I wouldn't go sexually suggestively okay. because it's if it was a human, it would be puckering for a kiss, but it's a crack. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a little bit different. Good thing you don't know anything about the Kraken rules. Right? <laughs> um, and then to finish it off. He will have, like, all of his mirror images come in close, and he'll, like, 52-card shuffle with the cards, or he'll make it look like that, but he'll cast Chromatic Orb up towards the ceiling, and it'll be... Um... It'll do cold, but it's not going to hit anybody or, like, even harm them. It's just to look flashy. Like, he ends his performance with a fucking uh, explosion of snow. All right. Well, Thaddy grabs you with one of her giant tentacles and pulls you up close to her 
and is just kind of looking at you. Oh, you fucking liked that, didn't you? Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy to have around the house, let me tell you. Um, now, I need to go pick some mushrooms, is what I need you. Mushrooms, you, and he pulls out the mushroom he bought earlier, and he kind of waves it. He's like, I need more of these. Do you know where we can get more of these? She kind of nods at you, and they take in all four of them. Okay, we need to move you. <laughs> Am I going to get to roll up with a squad of Krakens? Uh, it depends. I mean, <laughs> right now they're just helping you because Thaddy is kind of their leader. And she has a crush on you. So, we'll see. Right, well, it's a good thing Ikarath is dense. <laughs> Alright, rid of you guys. Alright, so yeah, you, you're rolling up in here with Thaddy and these guys in tow. Okay, he said, now he said the fucking red and yellow mushrooms is what we need. All right, hold on a minute, guys. Uh, let me go find the yellow mushrooms. And he hops up on the shore right here. He does grab a few of the green mushrooms yep. and put them in his bag. All right. Because uh, he wants a little bit of every mushroom. Um, All right. But he's, you know, if he can hold a pound, we're talking like a couple of ounces. Yeah, you can, you um, can keep track of that distribution in your uh sheet and we'll do that all right are you hearing humming growing increasingly louder as you're walking through the caverns you Ooh, find a few yellow, yellow mushroom. mushrooms here he he starts picking them and putting them in the bag for the other dude he does put two mushrooms two of the yellow mushrooms in his mm -hmm. own bag though As he's going along, he's harvesting as many <laughs> mushrooms as he can. And the humming is super loud coming from that passageway that you just passed. Uh, he'll walk down here and he'll harvest all these mushrooms first. And all then right. he'll walk back. And this oh, guy no. is sitting here contemplating life, humming around, meditating. Uh, does Icarath recognize him? Um, is this the tree? This is Tremius. I don't remember your interaction specifically, which sessions you missed and didn't. So it is Tremius. Um, and it is the tree that was riding the snake that ate the other character. Oh, this isn't the tree that we all fucking hugged and I sang. No, to it, it, it is. Were you, oh. did you miss the session where he went from being just a tree to this? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. They Last thought... I heard, like, I saw him ride by on the snake, but I didn't realize what he was. Oh, God, yeah, you were gone. Oh, my God, so you don't... Oh, my God, Party 3 hates him so much. <laughs> well, I don't, so he's going to pull up and just be like, Crocky, you're a big tree. He says, and you're that irritating adventurer. No, you're not the first person to tell me that, yeah, but... Uh, Take some I'm just singing some... lessons. I mean... My voice is fine. Oh, why would you? You don't know me. <laughs> you were I... you, you hugged me for ten hours singing. That's excessive on my part. If that actually is true, <laughs> I do apologize because I. Yeah, on the top of, on the fucking mountain ledge, you guys all you cast a sphere. Oh, was I that was trying, you? I was trying to relax. That's my vacation spot. And you guys roll okay. up and start fucking circling around and singing Kumbaya. Okay, to be fair, I don't know what that song is, actually. That's probably why the singing wasn't so great. Because everybody's like, let's sing Kumbaya. And like, I don't actually know the words, mate. <laughs> it's just, it's a cultural phenomenon, but I don't know. I don't know where it is. So I'll tell you what. And he pulls his lute out. He's like, what if I sing you a song now? And it's all right. You won't hold it against me because I took singing lessons. I'll tell you what. If you can impress me with a performance, then I will give you a golden loot. Oh. But. but you can't have my hat if I lose. That's the if only you thing lose, I won't give up. If you lose, you owe me one task. 
That's not like a child, is it? No. Alright, yeah, because you know, I don't like children. Oh, wait, if I don't like children and you wanted my children, you could have them because fuck kids. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. I owe you a task or you owe me a golden loot. Yep. I fucking like it. And uh, he pulls and out, he pulls out, he pulls out a loot as well. And it wait, is... Like, are you going to play me and whoever plays better? Or like, yes. is this... <gasps> Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And it is a gnarled, warped-looking wooden loot that just radiates magic. You can you can just tell it radiates magic. Fuck, I'm trying to think if I can do anything to give myself advantage on this, like if any of my spells would work, but I'm pretty sure it's just play the loot. Uh... <laughs> anything, if you can get creative, I mean... Uh, the only thing I have would be distort value, but that just v distorts the perception of the value. It doesn't actually change the music or anything like that. Um, but would it change the perception of the performance for Tremius? It might. So I think actually... Um... Oh, shit! How many of these can I have going at the same time? Of what? Ah, only one. Um, minor illusion. One of the things it can do is create the sound of drums. So I can basically make, I can make my own backup music for this. All right. Faint musical notes. Okay, so I'm gonna cast minor illusion and press the digitation, and I'm gonna have a drum beat and a bass line going along with my loot. I'll give um, you. Uh... Gonna... Go ahead. And then I'm gonna cast distort value on my loot. Um. To make it look better um and then and then i'm gonna cast shocking grasp on my fucking loot to make it electric so it sounds like an electric <laughs> all right take shocking grass damage well shocking grasp is coming from me i don't take it maybe maybe the loot might it's going I feel no like it's it going through the loot into your mouth well, but it's it's. Oh wait, it's no, a lute is a stringed instrument, isn't it? Yeah, a, a lute is like a, a mandolin guitar. Okay, yeah, that's allowed. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> but roll damage, and we'll see if the lute survives. Oh, I th I I think he's done this before. Oh, I already fucking wrote. Sorry. Um, I think he's done. Oh this yeah, before. it survives with only three going through it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and so. Um, so that's one, two, three, four dice. So two at advantage will give you, and then take the best. Two at advantage? Yep. 24! And let's see what Tremius does. I'm terrified because he knows how to play fucking music. It's a tie. Oh shit! Do you want to go again? No, I think if it's a tie, then we both win. So I owe you a task, and I get a golden loot. How about that? That way we both come out as winners. He thinks about it. Because fuck me if I've ever seen a fucking tree play an instrument that well before. And I feel like you won, but also I put on a performance of a lifetime. And I don't think I've ever played better than that. So I feel like I've won, if you know what I mean. So I feel like the fair thing to do would be for both of us to win. And I will admit, I'm pretty sure if we go again, you're going to win. Because you've just got so many more years of experience. He says, sure, but the task is to... Um... Please say it's killing a church. I've already got one of those on my docket, and I'm all amped up for it. Uh, to protect Sephals. Uh, who is Sephals? Uh, it's a city. City of Thieves. It's oh. to be under siege. Yeah, I can fucking go to Sephals and help protect the city. Uh, what's, what's, what's attacking it? And just out of curiosity, why, why do you have skin in the game? Uh, the cult is attacking it. One of their highest ranking officers. Um, but she's had some... Strange behavior lately. Oh my god. 
It is killer church. Cults are just churches that didn't make it, mate. This is this is fucking great for me. This is like I get to kill two churches. Fuck religion, am I right? She is, however, coming to town with three dragons. Well, that does put a damper on it, but like, is a whole but fucking city. But your like, irritating former party members are already there. I'm so glad I met you. I had no fucking clue with those buggers. Yeah, those buggers left me tied up. And that I sounds slept for like three them. days. I, I, left, I slept for three days. And I'm an elf. We don't sleep. I slept That's... for three days tied up. I want to catch up to those motherfuckers and be like, Oi, bruv, what the fuck? He, hands you, he holds out his hand and has a little uh, wooden amulet on a string. Oh, what's this then? It says it's the sign of my favor. And that you are oh. currently in my employ. Oh, hold on. You're not a god, are you? No, no. Well, then it's I serve fine. Flit. I serve flit, but I am my own creature. But I just, if, if I'm like burning down churches left and right. Have you heard really of flit? If I... Who's flit? Okay, so and he's gonna... Out of character, out of character, yes. He's going to explain around. all about flit to you. Oh. He says, he I know that you've never guy. chosen to... Worship a god. But it feels like Flit may just be the exception. I don't know. He just sounds like a god to me, mate. If if he wants to show up and shake my hand, maybe. But, like, right now, I just need... Con save? And apparently I need to get to C4 and fuck up the city of Con save? Con save? At disadvantage? At disadvantage. At disadvantage. And now I gotta figure out where I'm going. Um, you. Let's flip back over to where I am. Uh, you are now blind and on your ass, and you took nine uh, radiant damage. Oh, jeez. As you hear laughing and chuckling. It says, a handshake, is it? I don't know what's going on. I can't fucking see. It says, okay, close your eyes. I can't tell if they're closed. Put your hands over your eyes. You feel like okay. mortal. <laughs> and then uh, you feel uh, a whack on the head with a staff. Ow. You take four damage, but you heal ten damage. And your blindness is resolved in... Don't look directly at me. I don't even know who you are. Jesus. You said Fucking you wanted a handshake. A you said you wanted a handshake. Between oh. my old buddy is letting me listen. I got nothing better to do than to watch this bullshit. You want a handshake, mate? And he Fuck holds out his hand. And, and Icarath opens his eyes and, and he's looking at your hand. And he goes, Fuck it. I'm as good as my word, and he shakes your hand as firmly as he can. Your hand burns and takes seven damage of radiant damage as he shakes it. And Icarath doesn't say anything, but he starts his eyes start welling up with tears, <laughs> and he's like obviously trying not to cry. He's and sorry. then he, he like whips his hand out of the handshake, and he's like, I'm as good as my word. Flit says, word. Icarath, he I've been watching you for quite a while. And let me tell you, you're amusing. Uh, and after that whole whole uh, incident with the with the Krakens, I couldn't stop rolling in laughter. I'm a big fan, big fan. Okay, there we. Thanks. I appreciate it. You seem like an alright guy. I've always kind of fucking hated gods because they all seem stuffy. But either you're a big dick. And that's okay. Or you're not a dick at all. And that's surprising. Well, the reason you haven't heard of me is because I've never really settled down with a church. I mean, I can't stay in one place. Who can afford to stay in one place? So nobody ever knows who I am. Like, I mean, come on. Do you want to stay at one Fuddy place daddies. your entire life? Fuddy-duddy stay in one place. Exactly. 
You get it, Ikarath. Here, I, here, Ikarath. You know what? I want you as my champion. Um, I don't have to start a church for you, right? Because we just we just covered that. A, I burn churches, and B. No, I don't you want don't a want church. One, so that would be awkward. No, just convince other people to drink and, and, you know, illicit substances and party. And, hey, if you can convince them to worship me, I mean, all the better. No churches. I Nobody wants to sit in a fucking pew. No, we got to adventure the world. Have fun. Drink. Party. Have a good time. We need more of that in the world. I think you're right. I think, I think you are. I think... I think, yeah, I think, yeah, let's fucking... It's still okay if I burn the churches down, because I'm going to die if I don't Yeah, don't burn the, burn the other church. Don't care about the other fucked... Especially the Nova Stand church. They're doing all kinds of fucked up shit. All right, cool. May I make one suggestion for you, Flit? What's that? I think you should get a hat like mine. He's a... You're a pretty I... cool guy. You can't have my hat. You cannot have my hat, but you should think about getting a fucking dandy of a hat like this, because... Fuck me if this isn't the best hat I've ever seen. I'll have to consider that. That is the most smashing hat I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. So is there, like, other than partying and making our show other people party, is there any, like... Well, let's see. You get some bonus by default for being part of that. Well, and we just, we just out of character, we decided that Ikarath does follow Flip by accident. Yep, so um, you have So that. I've already applied the normal bonuses for worshiping. Yeah, I gotta find what his normal bonuses are so that I can give you his, um, his, uh, champion bonuses. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is going a lot better than I thought it would, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you get an additional plus one to luck, an additional plus one to charisma, and an additional minus one to wisdom. So basically double his his effect oh my god my wisdom is now four <laughs> god damn. but you are now okay, so also the champion of a god okay so it, it was plus one to luck yeah so your total is plus two to luck plus two to charisma minus two to wisdom the additional for being the champion is just plus one plus one minus one right um so yeah, that puts that puts my luck stat at sixteen. Nice. Um, yeah. Um. Hey, do you think so for the partying and stuff like that? This is just me saying, like, if you really want me to go go on, I have this fun little bag here, and he pulls out the one pound bag of preservation. Uh huh. Um. This is for mushrooms around here. Do you think that you could make this so that it can just hold infinite amounts of party gear? Like, I don't need to be throwing anything else in here. Just fucking party gear, like booze and mushrooms and stuff like that. But that way I don't have to worry about the so weight. Is this is this something like that you could do for me? Because that. that'll make it a lot easier to spread party. I can't party. do that to that bag. But what I can offer you is this bag, and he hands up. Uh, you know, like, like RGB on computers when it's set to a cycle mode? Vaguely? Like how it goes, like, flips between the rainbow colors in a computer with the lighting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bag looks like that. And Icarus's eyes just go wide as fuck, and he's and like... And it's called the Bag of Ultimate Party. And, it, and he says, somehow, this bag always knows just the thing. It can be used once a day, and it'll pull out one item for a party that seems to most fit the situation you're in. I think this is the best day of my life. I got a hat. I got a bag. I th I'll just... I'm so overwhelmed. Flit, I'm going to... I'm going to throw a party. Once once Seafall is de is de is defended, I'm going to throw you a party to end all parties. That's my goal now. He's got one more gift for you. And he says, I've got one more gift for you. And he chuckles maniacally. Oh and God, hands, if you give me a puppy, I'm going to I'm gonna fucking shit myself. He gives you a necklace that looks identical to a necklace that Party 1 has, which is a yin-yang, but separated into two parts. And uh, he tells you it's the lover's amulet, and it allows you to speak with one person telepathically over any distance. Oh, he's like... Um... Should I give that to you so you can tell me what to do? Should I give that? I don't want to kiss you? you. 
Or, Dreamius, you know, I Mike. Did... Dreamius, Mike. Dreamius, you up for that? Yeah, this goes, filthy humans. I wouldn't put my lips on that. Yeah, no, that's actually a pretty fair, but um, I would like to point out I'm not actually human. I'm humanoid. I'm an elf. Oh. Two-legger, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's the jury's still out on that one too, because elves live an awfully long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't be throwing insults at me. I'm just saying that you need to work on them. <laughs> uh, deck save. <laughs> uh, you manage to dodge d nimbly off to the side as some um, tree vines whip out from Tremius's hands and strike the ground where you were. Really See, now, is... do you want to take that back? I no, I'm trying to help you, mate. I'm saying that like I feel what you're saying. You just you gotta work on them so that way they land better because like we're buddies now. We both we both work for Flit, so like you can't be animosity <laughs> towards me. And if you do, you need to at least be able to land them. So I'll help you with your insults as long as you promise not to kill me. Alright. Next time I see you. You you give me a list of of insults. We'll we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> I'll start working on it as soon as I get the chance. Yes, I will. Um, in the meantime, there is a matter of a golden f uh, loot. I believe he does hand over the golden loot. Fuck yeah! You went full devil. Went down to Georgia today. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, I'm feeling really good about this. I really am. You realize um, you're going to be coming in out of character. You're going to be coming into the city. Put, uh, we don't know what's going on with the Krakens yet, but you're going to have a hat that makes you resistant to psionic damage. A raver's a, bag hanging at my side. <laughs> basically, a bag of mushroom of, of psychedelic mushrooms. Um, and you are now somehow, in the time since they last saw you, the champion of a god. <laughs> <laughs> And you want to know what's funny? Tremius has been here the whole time. You guys oh, passed by ever, him. You guys nobody passed ever him. fucking went in here? Yeah, yeah, you guys passed by him on the way to the city, and you passed by him. They The other the party passed by him on the way out and ignored the humming. Well, they're fucking stupid. Which, which is super funny because they all hate him and want to murder him. And party one has a few that are okay with him, some that want to kill him. Well, to be fair, he's kind of a dick, but, like, so is Ikarath. So Ikarath is yeah, absolutely fine with him. At this point, Ikarath, if anything, feels a little bad for hugging him for ten hours. That like, any animosity he's receiving, he feels is justified, and so he just wants to change this that. going to set up quite... It's a good thing you're not you're not rejoining three permanently, and you're rejoining... And you're joining one, because... Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, boy. What was, what was the necklace Tremius gave me? Uh, it is the lover's amulets. Uh, it looks like, oh, said, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. It looks yeah, like, um, that. the yang split in two and it allows, uh, you to communicate telepathically with one person who can communicate in some shape or form has like the cognitive ability to over any distance telepathically, but uh, Icarus to activate both it, on. they both have to be on and you have to kiss the person. So Icarath puts that on, but he he tucks it away so it's not immediately visible. Both of them? Yeah, because he doesn't know any better. All right. He can communicate telepathically with himself now. Only if he kisses himself. <laughs> Which may, may happen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and Flit says, well, that's all the time I have for today. And if I don't get out of here with Tremius, he's going to bitch slap you. I probably. He's a grumpy old Fuck. All right, but be watching for that party because I swear to God I'm gonna throw you a party that you wouldn't. Well, actually, you probably would believe because you kind of like the God of Party. But oh, like, and be the best Flick does do. hand you a holy symbol. Holy symbol of Flit. Yep. Uh, and uh, is expecting you to wear that around your neck. Not that anybody's gonna necessarily notice it, but. Okay. Yeah, he puts that on, but it's very visible. Yep. Yes. I mean, you are a champion, so. Um, and it, it does glow slightly and you can see like little flashes of energy, uh, kind of like dance across it every now and then. All right. 
All right, well, I've got some mushrooms to harvest and some krakens to party with. So uh, if you've got to be going, I've got to be going too. All right, so Tremius kind of melts into the ground because he's got the ability to travel through Earth. And Flit does a little spin with his staff. All of the mushroom caps are um, beheaded. And as he leaves, they whirlwind up into a cyclone and then splits off and fills both of the bags with the mushrooms. That is just, that is just fucking lovely. All the mushrooms in here or all of the mushrooms? All of the yellows in here. And you now have two pounds worth in the one bag and one, well, less than one pound in the other bag. You put okay, some... Icarath is, uh, one, he's very happy that he met a god that's actually not a... <laughs> oh, Icarath, a character lame-o. growth. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he grew a little bit as a person. Um, so he's going to wander out here, and he's still going to take, like, two or three mushrooms and put them in his pockets in his, just like, his jacket, you yep. know? Um, he still wants uh, green, purple, and red mushrooms as well. Okay, those are only good for 24 hours. If you don't have them in the bag, uh, he'll he'll swap out a few of the yellow ones. Um, yeah, you can do for, that for 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 them. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put almost one pound of yellow. Yeah, mushroom. we'll say it's one ounce per mushroom, yeah. big mushroom cap. Um, so you can hold up to sixteen. So he'll have he'll have a green mushroom cap. He'll have a purple. While you do that math, I'm going to be right mushroom. back. I'm going to use the restroom. So I'll be right back. Mushroom app. What is that? Like a sea blue? We have a red mushroom app. Just gonna call it blue. Blue mushroom. Um. Hello, mushroom cap. But he has all of those. Or have fucking eight. We have two of each of the other ones. And that's what we'll do. It's two of each kind of mushrooms, and then eight of the yellow ones because they're the most expensive. And then he'll have the, of course, the two pounds of yellow mushrooms as well. And then he'll go back to Thaddy. All right, I am back. That was quick. Yep. Well, the bathroom's like right across from me in the office, so it's kind of convenient. <laughs> yes, I used to be no all kidding. the way upstairs, um, but then the cats kept eating the cords to my expensive equipment. Uh, so I moved my fiance upstairs with her crafting stuff, which doesn't have a lot of valuable cords, and moved myself into the much smaller <laughs> room, but it's got a door. Um, with all my stuff so that the cats could no longer eat my cords. Because they cost yeah, I me feel like that. $600 worth of shit. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry to hear that. Two Logitech um, okay, C922s so... and an Elgato HD60S. That physically hurt me a little bit. I know, right? <laughs> um. So while you were gone, 
He has two blue, two green, two purple, and two red mushrooms. Um, and then he has eight more yellow mushrooms in his bag. All right. He has the two pounds of mushrooms in the bag for uh, Barry at the inn. And then he also popped off five golden mushrooms. He takes one and he gives one to each of the Krakens. All right. Um, <laughs> roll con at three dice. Con save? Yeah, con save with three dice. Um, you're pretty high. You're not like, you're still functional, but you're definitely <laughs> feeling it. You're pretty happy. Um, you're a little bit amorously charged. Um, well, Icky's always ready to get sticky. There you go. Um, and then I got to <laughs> roll con saves for all of these fucks. Oh, did you see my new dice? Okay, well, first, pull up the stream if you, if I don't know what your computer, what's going on with, if it's good enough, but if you can, pull up the stream and look at the dice cam first, because it looks on, fucking... Like, are you, are you streaming on, um... Oh, shit, I'm not, oh, fuck, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, you might have to turn your camera on in Discord for me to see. I can do this, I can make this happen. Let me share this. So that's how nice that camera looks for dice. Look how much this is. It, how nice this looks. I gotta, I gotta make it full screen because I can barely see. Yeah. It. Holy shit! Yeah. That's like super clear for the dice, mm -hmm. and um, the dice that I'm talking about that I got that are new that I'm not using at present. I gotta show you how fucking amazing because I think you'll appreciate it. I do appreciate. It. Holy! Or like, oh, or like, those at, are the party dice. Oh, or like, look at this. Like that's the four. And it's kind of hard to see. Like the, I mean, it's kind of hard to move my hand right. But yeah, look at that. No, but just the colors and the shape of There's it. Little There's little dragons. There's little dragons. It written in it. So like that are inside of it as well. Dude, I need I need to buy like three sets of dice. Oh, um, these are. Let me see if I can find the pictures. I think I posted it. Yeah, while while I've been gone, a bunch of things have happened in my life, including the whole new job thing. Yeah. But I had to I had to change my scheduling a lot, so I had to drop out of two of the other games that I was in. Oh. Um, and then uh, the game that I've been in the longest, um, because I was comp I was unemployed. Yeah. Um, basically, I was on medical leave for like a year so i had a whole bunch of parties that i was running in ah. um and so you weren't the only people that had to, uh, had to miss me <laughs> i like those dice isn't that fucking fancy granted i like i bought them for myself as a birthday gift because i could not have justified them otherwise you're like 50 dollars set of dice to be fair, they look like they'd be worth fifty dollars. They are. I mean, <laughs> like the inside, like the color, like is like bismuth. It looks like almost like that kind of a coloring. Yeah, and it's got little dragons like underneath, like the numbers, like carved into it, and it's like a hefty, weighty metal. It's about fifty percent bigger than your standard set of dice. Yeah, I like it. They're so nice. Anyways, getting back yeah, to um, not playing with dice porn. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, so I ended up um, my main my main Dungeons and Dragon group that like I, I actually know the people IRL and yeah. I see them like on a weekly basis. Um, the DM switched majors and so his schedule changes and then also he's going back to work after COVID since COVID's winding up. And so he wasn't going to be able to DM a game very often. So I actually took over that group as the DM. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, and so I have a I, I really feel your pain with how many fucking maps you have because <laughs> my campaign is I wrote it completely from scratch, and uh, it's not quite as ambitious as this one where you've got multiple parties running <laughs> in the same world. But um, I have a shitload of maps. Um, it, actually, on that note, if you want some more really interesting and out there maps that are really well done, look up Seafoot Games on Reddit mm -hmm. or Patreon. Um. Because he has a 
bunch of maps and they're all super high quality and they range from like um they range from like uh extra planar stuff to mm -hmm. just like here's a building that you can have a fight happen in um oh so yeah that i'll have to look into that also let me give you what is evolving to eventually become the official playlist for the channel or D D once it gets enough just in case you wanted it. Oh, absolutely. It is all, basically it's songs that I've found that are really good and they're also copyright free. Oh, I could definitely use that. Yeah. There's only 10 of them on so far, but as I find them, because I keep going through this list of like 800, and as I find really good ones, I just add them to that. So, continuing. Yeah, I'm, I'm saving this. Yeah. <laughs> It'll keep growing the longer I keep going through stuff too. And let me send you this as well. Um, this is, uh, this should be anyways, the playlist that I have that's got the 800 that I just use right now until I've got enough to full, fill a full three hours worth of music. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, but yes. This is super helpful. <laughs> it's almost like I've been on Twitch for three years. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> But I finally found the thing that's actually the thing for me on Twitch, which is actually really nice. Because I've been through a lot yeah. of different stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, fucking... And, and Dungeons and & Dragons is going through, like, a renaissance period right now because of the pandemic. Everybody's that and Critical Role. Playing. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I've it, never actually seen that, believe it or not. <laughs> I've only seen a few episodes of the very beginning of the first campaign that Critical did. I can tell um, you though, there's been a lot of times where like Alvin or somebody has been like, "Are you just copying from Critical Role?" And I'm like, yep. "No, I've never even seen it." Yep, I've gotten the same thing already, and I've only DM two sessions. <laughs> <laughs> somebody was like, "You got that from this," and I was like, "I actually didn't." I'm like, I watched like ten minutes of Critical Role and I didn't enjoy it, so. <laughs> Critical Role, as I understand it, is something you have to have a lot of spare time to get into because it's basically like you're a member of the party who doesn't do anything. Um, so you have to enjoy playing it to kind of get into it and you have to stick it out in order to learn all the inside jokes and the references and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So it's a very time consuming thing. It's worth it, as I understand it. It's just most people don't have the time. Yeah, I uh, I really enjoyed uh, um, Harmon Quest, though. I've heard of that one. I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. Um, the one I'm in the middle of is the Adventure Zone podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's really good. It's it's way less combat oriented, and it's more just world building and their characters nice. interacting with that world. Yeah, and you'll... it's it's. I listen to it like while I'm at work and stuff like that, and it's phenomenal for that kind of so, thing. So, um, but like, think. Uh... Do you know, like, F is for Family or Big Mouth or... I'm aware of those. Uh, basically, you know, like, the animated shows that aren't kids shows? Yeah. That genre? It's kind yeah. of like that for Harmon Quest because they, like, have, like, cartoon animations for, like, everything that's going on. So, But they still flip back, like, to the table, too. So it's it's really well done. It's almost like a cartoon. I like it. So I, I I definitely recommend it. I think you can watch it on some of the episodes for free on what is that service? Uh, VRV. Um, TV show. Yeah, Harmon Quest. Um, I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. With yeah, I'll I'll find it. But yeah, it's uh it's really good. Um, but detoured. <laughs> Back. You are with Krakens. You are medium high. Oh yeah, high. and I just fed them. Oh I just yeah, fed and I have to roll. Them. I have to roll four <laughs> con saves. Okay, and just for just for Thaddy. Thaddy does not save. Um Sam's Sam's doing alright, but everybody else is pretty fucked, and Thaddy is kinda like gesturing towards you beckoningly. Uh he'll Icarath will walk up and say, "What's up, baby?" He yeah, won't with, a, with a with a roll, but he'll he'll be like, "Hey, you look like you've been hit by a fucking freight train, mate. I guess this is pretty good shit." 
Thaddy kind of strokes like your your face with one of her slimy tentacles. Oh no, love. We gotta get me back to the city because I gotta give I gotta give these mushrooms that I just gave to you. I gotta give them to a mate who got me so that I don't die, which is pretty fucking nice of him. Even if the man himself is kind of a dick. She looks at you confused. She understands none of that. I is not. Uh, take me to the bridge. She doesn't bridge. understand the words. Last time you got her to do something because she recognized the mushrooms. Well, I don't have a mini bridge in me pocket. <laughs> oh my god, do I have a mini bridge? In me you do not. I do not have. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I know. Um, he just points back up the river. All right. Uh, and, and then he, he, je he kind of mimes to keep his head above the water. I don't know how well that would work, but. Yeah, she grabs you. You'll need to make four con saves. Oh, jeez, I'm going to die. I'm going to die right here. Well, it was nice knowing you, everybody. Oh shit! Maybe not. Yeah, so Finally that critical. I've only that rolled like Nat 40 20 times. actually negates the failure on the first Constitution save, so you take no damage. You're able to hold your breath the entire time on the way back. I'd I'd like to think he was just hugging her the whole time <laughs> because he like one hat on his one head one hand on his hat obviously to keep it from rolling away. Yeah, and then the rest the the rest of it he was just whole body hugging her, just going. I like these mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're back at the city again. Um, he gives he gives her a little kiss on the head when he hops out of the water. She she makes a little gurgly noise and her tentacles kind of wave around a little bit. And yeah, he waves and he says, "I'll be back in a little bit when it's time to go, lady." Oh no, we, are you we, lady? Yes, Daddy is knows? a lady. But does he know that? Um, <laughs> does he? Does Ikrath know Kraken? <laughs> he has a five on nature, so he probably would be able to tell the difference between male and female. Yeah, you can you can know the difference. Okay, good. So he says, "I'll be back, my lady. I've got some business to attend to," and uh, he will try to make his way to the high tide. All right, I'm trying to line up beard again. Yeah, it's been a real pain in my ass. You might want to take some time and make that an actual sprite, a bearded. A yeah, bearded I'll probably do that after sprite. this you, session. You probably should. At this They've point. become such a big part of the campaign, and I had no <laughs> idea they were ever coming back. Oh, uh, dude, I feel like, so. My, I've played D and D for like over a year now, so I'm like used to what fucking happens. But like my first DMing session, the map I uploaded had a skeleton with only one boot, and my players became obsessed with this boot, like to the point where they oh. used a locate a, a scroll of locate object to find the other fucking boot. You know what and, you missed, um, but you didn't. But you wouldn't have been there anyways unless you were watching the stream. Let me see if I can find it. You're going to love this. Does that make me think? Go ahead with your story while I look. Yeah, no. Um, My point is they just, they fucking went chasing these boots and took up like a third of a session just trying to get the fucking other boot from the waterfall I hit it in. And I didn't plan for any of it. <laughs> nice. All right. So is this it? is what you missed party one doing. Also, a devil went down to Georgia style moment where Alvin... Uh, performed with the help of the party um, to cross a bridge that Beginio was challenging them, and Rez Azuli, they had to impress Rez Azuli. That looks terrifying and intense, and I love it. Yeah, they're in the sh they were in the Shadow Realm during that time. You haven't been to the Shadow Realm yet, actually. No. I don't think anybody Icarath, in Party Icarath 3 has. has been on drugs. Yeah, I don't think anybody has in Party 3 has been to the Shadow Realm. I think only Party 2 and 1 have. Dude, I can't wait for tomorrow, though, to show up and just be it's like, be I'm great. a fucking god, mate. Look at me, golden lit fit, uh, loot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are a champion of a god. Yeah. 
That's absolutely, and you have a completely different opinion of um, Tremius than the rest of everybody. I think Alvin's okay with him. Tremius is now a coworker, so not he only is. do I like, not only am I okay with him, but like I'll be defensive of him too. Nice, that's great. <laughs> we'll see if it comes up. All right, so you're back at the city. You're on the docks. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna go back to the the high tide and give my mushrooms back to the or give the mushrooms that i promised to give the the guy uh because ikarath is an idiot but he's a man of his word so ikarath comes back and by says i never thought you'd actually get permission out of this city what you have to agree to i, I <clears throat> sorry you know the yellow mushrooms are really good so that's why i told you to get them I'm speaking of, and he slaps the two pound bag of mushrooms down and he goes, your favor paid in full. We're a square. Thank you. Do you want to buy well, some? Now. Um, <laughs> no, I've got plenty. I, I harvested plenty myself. I'm currently high as fuck. Um, and I would like, and he reaches into the bag of ultimate partying and he pulls whatever comes out out and he says, let's have a party. Uh, you pull out a magically enchanted floating ball that emits multicolored light. <laughs> Does it, please tell me it floats so he can it like toss it up spins. to the middle of the room. It floats and spins. Yeah, so he fucking tosses it up and he pulls out his new golden loot and he just starts playing a banger of a party tune. Oh god, where are you playing? Right here, right at the bar. All right, uh, performance. <laughs> oh, you are playing a yeah. hell of a tune, and people are gathering around, and they're dancing, and um, a couple of the dwarves, uh, these two disappear into the back with Buddy and come out a little bit more fucked than they were before. <laughs> they're jamming out, having a good time. Uh, these guys are kind of serious and they're doing their thing in their stall, but you got a couple of people watching and banging and having a good time. Fuck yeah. Uh, at, at some point, Ikarath will go back upstairs and pass out because he needs a break. All right. So the day passes, you <laughs> heal up again. Um, that'll <laughs> cost you one gold for the room. No, the room's already paid for. Oh for yeah, a the room month. is more month. See, I forget things. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're you're free and clear then. Yeah, you rest up and it's the next day. Um, I'm gonna thank God for the health. Um, two questions. Yeah, you haven't One, been in combat at all, and you've been almost dead twice now. Yeah, that's that was my. I was gonna I was gonna say two things. One, um, for the golden loot. Um, do I get any bonuses or is it just a shiny? Uh, gold we'll loot? give you plus one for performances done with that loot. Plus one for skill checks or anything like that. One for the loot. There and it's go. called um, Tremius's. Uh, not Tre no, yeah, because you, you fought Tremius. Tremius's Golden Fiddle. Tremius's. Yeah, we're going to say it's a. Yeah. Golden. Or Golden Loot, I guess. Uh, yeah. Not flute. Loot. Yeah, loot. Jesus. Yeah, Golden Loot. Golden Loot. All right, cool. Um, and I'm just going to put in. in, in there because i already have it on my stat sheet but yep. i'm gonna put a plus one in there as well um also can we say that since it's made of metal i can cast shocking grasp on it to make it a sound like an electric loop and it doesn't take damage well it would take damage but it's a divine item so it doesn't take damage well, it's, it's it's divine and it's made of metal so it can it can conduct the it can conduct it metal. it would still be harmful if it was just a golden loop made out of just gold but because it's a divine object, it does not take damage from, and it does cool. produce a electronic electric guitar effect. So if I play the guitar really well and then smack somebody with it, I can cast shocky grasp on them. <laughs> that's yeah. that's the goal. Is that in combat, I want to be able to whip this out and you could use a play. bonus action. Oh, to oh, perform. Can I use this? Can I use this as a spell focus to cast fucking spells through? Um. If it's it, if there would be a reason, it would conduct it. The reason you can use shock and grasp is because it is a met metallic object. Okay, yeah, that's fair. However, I will give you a bonus if you are fighting. Um, or wait a minute, uh, is the holy symbol of flit? That should be a um, a spell focus, right? 
That could be, yeah. Okay, so if, if, if that's a spell focus, that's just a necklace that I'm wearing. So now I don't need to be holding anything necessarily. So I could hold whatever I wanted to and pretend like it's my spell focus to cast spells. Yeah, you definitely could. <laughs> also, um, you do get an additional D6 worth of damage if you are using the loot as a weapon. Um so, like, if you hit something with it, it would be a... What's a improvised weapon? An improvised weapon, I think, is just a D4. Okay, so a D4, but it's an additional D6. Uh, if you are... Actually, let's make it an additional D8 if you're fighting any um, Eldritch or Undead. It does radiant, an additional D6 of Radiant damage. Premius is loot. Uh, but that's imp- only versus imp- those types. I don't think improvised weapons get attack modifiers or proficiency unless you become proficient with them. So you can roll performance proficiency with it. If you uh, use your bonus action, (laughs) you have to use your bonus action to perform. And then you get to add your bonus for performance to the attack as to the attack roll to hit. I'm built. I'm building. um, I'm building a attack card. For it so that way i can just click on it and have yep. it roll the d4 for me and stuff yeah um so it'll use charisma as its modifier for what um what i'm attacking with it i'm not proficient with improvised weapons am i proficient with the loot as an improvised weapon um i mean you don't take disadvantages for using it you don't you well, don't... okay but you get a, to hit you get a plus i think at our level right now it's two you get a plus two to hit if you're proficient with a weapon uh but yeah i'm not I'll improv- get... Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll give you uh, that. And I do a D4 bludgeoning for normal, and then I'm going to put in and the 1D6 can... radiant, and then we just won't count that unless it's the right yep. type of creature. Yep, and um, it can channel electric spells. Description can channel, not channel, channel <laughs> electric spells. Hey. Okay, yeah, no, this has been a very caught up. Now, the only question I have is, did the did the rest of the party level up? Have they hit level um, five yet? Let's see where they're at. Um, let me flip somebody open from party three. <laughs> well, that's a horrible. They ball, are but... at seven thousand and eight experience, and they oh, yeah, are level I'm at 5. 5300. Yeah, so I need to. I think I need to level up then. Yeah, you can take base level up. five, whatever that Which experience I, is. I want to say that's sixty five hundred. Yeah, you can you can take sixty five. Okie dokie, and then I need to figure out what I get at level five, if anything, for wizards. wizards yep. Yeah, they don't. They he gets fireball. Uh, actually, yes, he does get third level spells. Look, I knew something about D anD. D. Fucking a. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, launch the leveler. Next. Uh, we're gonna roll for... That's a good roll. Hey, it paid off! Yeah. Um, next. I also have three of the worst dice ever here. Because they did not come out properly when I was trying to cast them as resin. <laughs> So now I just play with them while I stream. <laughs> just just to fuck with people, you just roll a shitload of your dice that don't do anything. There you go. <laughs> just like make sure like take fireball. Just like put it up to the mic and be like and then they have to wonder why there's dice rolling. Okay. So I get two new spells for leveling up and I have level three fucking spell slots. I think I'm taking lightning bolt. Nice. Because I can play that with the loot. Yep. Holy shit. 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save. Yeah, you would have it. I mean, it would just act as the spell, but... Um, you could have it if you played it. I would... Yeah, I mean, you could have extra effects if you played it and then the lightning arc from the strings over to the Well, no, people. that's the spell. The li- the spell lightning bolt, I'm saying. I'll take that spell and then I can cast it with the loot. And what that spell does is it's a line 100 feet long. Nice. Um, 
and every creature in that line must make a dexterity saving throw. They take 8d6 lightning nice. damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. That's pretty solid. Um, and it ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. I This is... This is fucking great. <laughs> um, now, do I take fireball? Do I do the just the basic? Do I be a basic bitch wizard, or do I fucking take something better like counter spell? Well, or... keep in mind too that utility spells are probably the most useful they will ever be in this campaign. Like, oh, I know. <laughs> I, I, I fucking. Put a drum beat down with prestidigitation yep. earlier. Like, <laughs> Drop I'm, the beat. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, because you you take you take spells that aren't just in roll twenty. You take anything that's rules is written, right? Yeah. Let me check to see if there's any spells that like I could use that aren't on that list. Cold. I could go with Sleet Storm instead of fucking Fireball. Because that's a... That's a pretty... Actually, that one doesn't do damage. That's just stupid. I'm not doing... Sleet. Are there anything that's good against dragons? Um... Because you were told that there are going to be dragons, plural. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Vampiric Touch... Wouldn't be a bad one to have, yeah. but Thunder Step. Ooh, Thunder Step sounds fun. Oh, did, did you add your max HP up, or are you still in that process? I'm still in the process. I got to pick my spells first. Yeah. Um, shit. I wish I could pick one extra spell, but that'll happen when we level up again. Yeah. Um. So did you miss this? <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, I did, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be basic. I'm gonna take fireball All for right. now. Um and then if there's a spell that I really want later, I'll I'll see if I can't like find somewhere to buy it or something. Yep. Alright, so you're waking up, you've gained an insane fuck amount yeah. of experience, you've got some new spells, you've got some new items. What are we doing? Uh well first let me put my spells back up to where they should be um honestly i think at this point i'm good to just fucking hit the road and, and uh see if i can't catch up to the party um how much time has passed between like how much time do i have left do i is it like should i travel immediately for the city or do i have time to do anything else um I'd probably travel. There's a fair distance. I mean, you're going to make up some okay. time because, I mean, you're going to be traveling. How is there any? From no, Whitehall, yeah, you're definitely right? going to want to leave immediately if you're going with the Krakens because they will get you okay. there in time, barely. Um, then, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, so, yes. Um, if... If, if you're up to it, I wouldn't mind knowing what each of the other mushrooms do. But if, like, you don't want to come up with that right fucking now, uh, it's cool. If, if Yeah, those if will happen when you decide to eat them. We'll figure out what they are. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, he says goodbye also, to Barry. Also, um, your, uh, your sphere uh, dissipated overnight. My sphere? Your, your uh, Oh, yeah, sphere. the party sphere. Yep. I, I wasn't I wasn't really worried about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the items from it only last um, twenty four hours. And okay, then, yeah. Then they so fade back I would away. I would just sprint down to the docks and see if I can't convince the Krakens to take me, take me away. And um, I would definitely spend some time trying to teach them to keep my head above the water, so that way I don't have to, you know. Take drowning. I mean, there's the always a way or, to, uh, to talk to him. What, you want me to fucking use the lover's amulet? You don't have to, what... but it's available. Well, because Ikarath still thinks in terms of two-legger stuff. He's not even thinking about romance with a fucking... He, That's true. He know... So he's just going to try to... He's just going to try to mime and, 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 and have them, like, you know, just 
try to teach him to keep his head above the fucking water. Alright. Um, it'll be semi-successful over the course of your... I mean, I don't know how much longer you have to play, so how much more you want to do, so... Well, the only other thing I have to do is DM the session at 4.30, so, like, if you wanted to, we could have a couple hours of adventures right now. 4.30. All right, so... <laughs> they are... How are you trying to explain to them to keep your head above the water, I suppose? Uh, mostly he'd get in the water and then he'd like motion for them. And when they go down, he'd just like, he'd pull up on them until they go up. And then he would, he would like mime breathing really big time. Like, you know, heave when he breathes and then stick his head underwater and just not well, move at all. Daddy's going to try and grab you. Mm -hmm. And are you going to allow that? Uh, yeah, but if she fucking yanks me underwater and just keeps me there, I'm going to struggle, obviously. Well, she yanks you underwater and starts trying to move away. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let her do that, but I'll also, like, pull and point up. All right. Um, unless she's going underwater to here, in which oh, case yeah. Ikrath is probably smart enough to go. Oh, yeah, she went here. She there. went back here. Yeah, okay. He, he, and also, Ikarath at this point, he's, he's done this a bunch, so he knows when to take large breaths of yes. <laughs> uh, holding his, his breath. And so at the very least, he's not drowning because he's like, oh, look, a bunch of krakens. I wonder where we're... Oh, fuck! Yeah, you're back in their home. She's taking you back home. Okie dokie. And she kind of, like, sets you down on the central rock. And kind of claps her tentacles together. This would be such a great place for growing mushrooms if only you knew how. You could try and transplant them in the center. I don't want to waste my mushrooms. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, who knows how long. It might be ten years before Icarath comes back. We don't know. Yep. Comes back and all of the Krakens are just high as fuck constantly from the psychedelic That would fit CPS with their mother. Growing would, in their nest. That would fit with their mother who's addicted to opium and booze. Okay, you know what? Actually, yeah, we'll take, um, we'll take one of the yellow mushrooms and we'll try planting it right in the fucking center. Alright, so um, real seven. quick, um, I need to go and find somebody. Um, let me go find your picture that you've sent me. There we go. Copy that. Are you, you going to Photoshop the hat onto him? Uh, no, but I am doing something interesting. Okay, because if we... I was thinking about finding... Having my buddy Photoshop Yeah, no, you should on. definitely do that. I am <laughs> doing something that you don't know about um, in character, but out of character... Uh, Thaddy's been talking with her mom and um, has let her know that she's found somebody just like her mom found Thalarak. And her mom is sending that to oh, shit. Thalarak the dwarf. I know what spell I should have taken instead of fireball. What's that? <laughs> Haste. You could take it, so you could flip him out. That's fine. Holy fuck, I forgot haste is a spell that I can learn. And it's so good. And especially it especially works for Ikarath because he's kind of an idiot, you know? Yeah. Um So he would definitely be like, Yeah, I wanna move faster so I can tank in battle. And it's like, dude, you're a caster. It's like, I don't fucking give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so she's there clapping her pentacles together, she's happy. You're planning drugs over there <laughs> um let me there which ones are you planting i'm just planting a single yellow one a single um, yellow to start actually 
You know what? If we're going to do this, let's fucking do it right. I'm going to plant one of every color. Okay, what colors are those? So the colors are yellow, obviously, uh, green, purple, red, and blue. Um, the red, I, I think, is have... pinkish. Uh, green, you said? So there... Yeah, uh, th there's, there's like a green, and then there's like a sea green, but because there wasn't a blue mushroom, I just called it blue. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and I will change the red to pink. Um, so I've got pink, yellow, green. I need to do the blue one. The sea green. But color. it's like a, a really light blue, like uh, a greenish blue. Like that kind of, I think. Oh, let's do this one. This one will work. There we go. All right, you yeah, planted them. Wait, where's the pink one? The pink one's right there. Well, well, then where's the purple one? Oh, we need a purple. I forgot that. Purple. Oh, I changed it to purple. Smart me. I meant to just make... There we go. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so she's sitting there bobbing in the water. What are you doing? Uh, well, once I plant the fucking... Uh... Once I plant the fucking stuff, I'd probably do what I usually do and whip out my golden uh, loot since I'm not really in command of the situation of where we go right no. now. <laughs> um, and I will, uh, I'll just play the loot and I'll use minor illusion and press the digitation to give me a beat and a baseline again. Uh, and I'll just fucking uh, loot away. All right. They are, they're thrashing around in the water having a good time. And, uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way because it's hard to talk this, to, to convey that you need to go miles and millions of miles away without verbal communication. Well, I, I not only would he be hesitant to be like, I'm going to use this lover's oh, no. amulet yeah, on no. you, but also I don't think he understands how, how good that is. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just like thinking to myself out loud how how to progress because you're kind of stuck here there's no way out um but they're having a good time which is always good when you want to yeah. keep the monsters happy <laughs> <laughs> um what if What if Icarath fucking just says, Hey, Flit! Hey, Flit! I need a help! Um, you get the impression he's listening. I need these guys to take me all the way to that city what Tremius needs me to help out at. And I don't know how to tell him that. Can you help me out here, mate? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because if Trevius showed up, I'll bet he could talk to the Kraken. How many level two spell slots do you have? How many level two spell slots do I have? Yeah. Three. Four for one. Okay. Um, you feel blessed and you feel knowledge enter your head and um, you gain the spell, the second level spell, Speak with Krakens. That, that seems like character. something that Flit would give you, just to see how it fucking turns out. Yeah, yeah. No he's does. he's basically the god of chaos. Now, I'm not gonna put anything in the description. I'm just gonna have it be the name. Speak with Krakens, um, and I'm gonna make it so that it's ritual cost. Yep. Um, 
so I can I can I don't have to have it uh, prepared, but I can cast it whenever I need to. Yeah, that's nice. um. So yeah, he'll 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 then be like, "Hello, mates, can you fucking hear me?" Snaggles. Of course I can. What's your name? Uh, my name is Cole Van. Because he doesn't want them to call him Icky. <laughs> um, my name is Cole Van, and I'm a very powerful wizard, and I'm a very good friend to all Orange Bearded Kraken, on account of you guys are just the fucking bee's knees. And, and Daddy uh, says, I have a... we think you're the bee's knees, too. Well, it's fucking good. I, I will say I'm pretty all right. Uh, I hope you liked a little bit of a treat that i gave you the other day you know wink wink uh but uh, <laughs> listen i um one of the people that i owe a favor to has said i have to go all the way to the city of seafall are you familiar with the city of seafall she says uh she is not familiar with it no okay well it's very very far away and i need to get there as quickly as possible but I don't think anybody moves faster than a kraken in the water. So yeah. I was wondering if maybe you and your mates here, or just you, or just your mates, or somebody, would take me and prove that kraken are the fastest of all the creatures. She says, I'll take you, but you'll owe me a date. I don't even know where you'd get that kind of fruit in this season, but that is a, that is a fucking hell of a deal. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, she holds out her hand. Uh, he'll he'll shake tentacle. it. You feel a spark as you're, you're, and you feel some magic kind of wash over you briefly. Ooh. Steady on there, girl. We haven't even had the date yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of character, that's a binding pact. In character, you don't know anything. Uh, no, Icarath definitely doesn't. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Kraken magic. Okay, yeah. Uh, also, I left you guys a little present up there. I don't know if you know much about tending to plants, but um, there's some there's some mushrooms growing in the middle island there, and you might want to uh, just make sure nobody fucks up with... And, she kind of, like, like, gestures over to the others, like she's giving them directions. And you see them start to like pile up some dirt on the ground below. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they need to be watered since this is an underwater cave or anything. Just try not to fucking break them. But um, once there's a bunch of them grown, y'all can party whenever you want. It's a good thing you got that hat, by the way. Because um, one out of character, one of the, the, the Rashak, who I showed you earlier, is psionic. So all of her spells, uh, for lack of a better word, are wisdom saves. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me over here with my negative three modifier to wisdom. But you get advantage. Still, that means on a nat 20, I only get a 16. <laughs> or a 17, rather. But yeah, it's it's a, it's good I have the hat. Yeah. It's very good I have the hat. Oh, good. That's great. I didn't even realize how bad your wisdom was, but it makes sense that you got well, the hat. And you fucking made it worse by making me the champion. That's true. <laughs> I fucking love it. That's great. Okay. <laughs> He is he has gone from just like a fucking idiot who's really bright to like this genius who has no idea how to live as a person. There you go. <laughs> oh. All right. So Patty, Th sorry, Thaddy grabs you and you guys start making your way out of the city. She um, does not well, tell that's you. happening. Well, yeah, I was going to say, while that happens, he'd be like, unless you have a way for me to breathe underwater, we do need to be careful of my oxygen consumption. Uh. Yeah, I got to go back to the Nomirium again one second where you were, because I got to grab her. Because, like, if, if she knows where to find, like, a sea wreck that happens to have, like, a cap of water breathing or something, I could put that on underneath my uh, dope hat. Unfortunately, she does not have that. However... Yeah. She'll keep you above. Copy. All right. Flip to the world map. 
Oop, nope. And basically, and we'll probably call. Is, she, is she bringing her posse? Um, nope, just just you two, cause, unless you ask her to bring them. Well, I did ask her to bring her oh. if, if she wanted to, because um, I think it'd be funny to show up with a whole posse of these fucking Kraken, yep. because that'll make that'll make fucking Wes and Cyrus go, what the shit? We leave you alone for a couple of days and you start partying with an entire posse of Kraken? Literally, <laughs> you got them high and yeah. at, a, at a party. And then I asked God, literal God, if I could talk to them, and I gave the ability to talk with Kraken. Just because Flit thought it would be funny. Oh, I fucking love it. Flit's an interesting God. He's all about just having a good time. Oh, and I plan to take advantage of that fact in oh, the future. Oh, boy. Um, all right, paste. Anybody looking at this world map is going to be like, what, what the fuck? Going on? All right, I need yeah. to move these guys out. I think there's somebody underneath. Yeah, shit. I'll make this eventually at some point properly. It, it kind of gives them character when their beards keep shifting around on their faces. There you go. <laughs> and take you and slim you down to size. And take you and slim you down to size. Oh, also, Thalrak's never seen any of his children. He just knows they exist. They're going to meet their papa. They are, and they'll have been told all kinds of stories about their pop-pop. All right, so they are here. Meta, you have a fucked up world. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> yup. I fucking love it, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's um, it, and it's mostly player driven. In all honesty, it's just I just throw stuff like the the whole Kraken arc. There wasn't even going to be a Kraken, um, but somebody. Or how about Tremius? Oh yeah, Tremius, Tremius is the fucking great example because you were like, yeah, there's nothing around. He's like, well, I want to make sure. You're like, all right, fuck you. There is something around, and then it turns into the party's arc nemesis. <laughs> It's fucking great. I love it. It is. And yeah, but the, there there wasn't even the thing is too there wasn't even a Kraken until they misinterpreted uh, a spell where some black tendrils of uh magic were like reaching up around somebody before they died and they saw and they interpreted it as tentacles and then there went off a whole side diatribe about that just talking about, you know, tentacles and all their uses and uh, it turned out that then all of a sudden there was a Kraken in the cultist lair. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. All right, so they take you around. They take the inlet over here. It's been many days, but I mean, you're with Kraken, so you're safe. And you end up, uh, they want to, uh, Thaddy uh, asked you if she can take a stop off to see your mom. Yeah, absolutely. She's being nice enough to bring me all the way over here. She can, she can do whatever she wants as long as I get there eventually. All right, so we're in Rokoge. They're chilling here with their mom. Patty, the party kraken. All right. And they kind of drop the only you. one without a beard. Yeah. And uh, they kind of drop you off in, in like right here. They've managed to tunnel out into the outside world at this point. So we're going to add some drawing for that. OK, you know what? Is this arena? Are these? I'm assuming these dragons aren't here currently. Oh yeah, those dragons are gone. I'll, I'll, I'm just yeah doing some. Yeah, the dragons are gone. Um. This city is being re. This church is in the process of actively being rebuilt. Um. Oh shit. Um. This is burnt to the ground. What is? Big Dog Arena. Great Aww, Betty's man. is also burnt down. Yeah, Rosh, the, the Dragon Fire. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, So what I want to do is I want to find a place oh, to sell oh, some of these mushrooms. I have to show you what you swam through, too. 
Um, I gotta find okay. it though. You slam through this, which is all underwater. But everything is that you can see. Oh is shit! Dead. That's Seafoot. That's Seafoot Games. That's the guy I was telling you about. Oh. He has a bunch of maps that are this quality. Um, and <laughs> this I, is one of I the first maps I grabbed. <laughs> yeah, no. If 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 you fucking yeah, this this guy has fucking great maps. Yeah, so this is what you 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 go through and you see, and there's statues of the Lord Rashak here, um, and here and he, here and such. This person's not here, neither are they. But this is what you kind of go through. Um, are those South Park characters? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. they're cultists. They were the they were the OG <laughs> cultists. <laughs> <laughs> And you see pieces of this toy, like, wooden thing just in the water. This wooden snake just disassembled. Okay. Um, yeah. Before you pop back up over here, which is back here in Rokoge. Okay, cool. Um. And, and uh, uh, Thaddy... Tells you that uh, she wants you to meet her mom. Okay, and Icarath still has no idea what she's planning, right? Not as far as I know, no. No, you're yeah, not engaged okay, cool. yet. Enge it, a kiss is what gets you engaged to a Kraken. Okay, yeah, so, uh... So oh, no. My brain is evil. I was just like, what if I kiss her mom's hand when she introduces me? <laughs> Anyway, she does hold out her tentacle, but it's got to be a kiss to the beak, so you're safe. Yeah, there, so he'll he'll just take it and he'll bow over it, but he won't kiss it. But yeah, yep. um, and he'll be. Uh, My name is Kovad. Ah, uh, this is pleased cool. to meet you. Uh, Thaddy interprets for you, and um... well, no, I can speak with Krakens. I can just. Speak oh yeah, you can. Yeah, I forgot. Patty goes. Yeah. So, what are your intentions with my daughter? Oh, we're traveling to the city of Sea Falls on account of somebody said I gotta go there and help defeat a dragon or something. Um, and she brought uh, her posse along on account of it's a long, long journey and we're having a lot of fun. Well, she says, um, you better not hurt my daughter. I, I, I have friends in and high I, places. I, my I, husband I, I, will murder you. Oh, sorry. Fiance. I, I, I'm just going to state right now, she's a very good friend of mine. Like, I, there, there would be no purpose for me to hit her. She's like, like, I don't know if you know this, but she's fucking fast as fuck in the water. Like, she just flies. Uh, and uh, if I ever need to go anywhere in the water, obviously she'd be my first choice. So, like, just going forward... I don't ever intend to cause any harm to her because that would be ridiculous. That would that would be like hurting me. She'll accept that, and she's also kind of happy that you're praising one of her daughters. Well, I mean, technically, they're all fast as fuck because they're all here. They're all kept up, and yeah. she, she's also carrying me, so she's not just fast. She's strong. That's true. She is strong. She's a strong, independent woman. The beard does throw me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But it looks She gets it from her father's world. side. And she sends you a mental image of... Um, a me, Falrak? Yeah, let me go... Yeah, that... I, can, I can see his his uh, his character sheet when I click on it. Oh, well, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, I send you a mental image of her <laughs> pappy, Thalrak. Oh. Oh, dwarven motherfucker. I got it. Yeah, all right. Now, a lot of people have problems with dwarves nowadays. Not me personally. I never really saw the fuss, but like, I'm uh, I'm pleased to make the acquaintance of a kraken orf. <laughs> Says treat or her well and we'll be fine. And she goes under the water and back to the high class inn where she gets her free booze and coke. Well, not coke, uh, yeah, opium. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, she seems like a lovely woman. Um. I gotta admit, it's still kind of weird for me to be able to talk to y'all, because, like, that's not normal. <laughs> you hear chuckling in your head, and you hear the voice, You're not normal. That's Flit, by the way. Oi! 
you're gonna fuck around. I need some gold. You wanna fucking, you want me to fucking do some damage? I need some fucking gold. Where do I go for the fucking gold? Uh, deck I got save. mushrooms to sell, and I oh, deck save. Uh, you managed to narrowly avoid being tripped by Flit with a divine spell. <laughs> All right then, I'll just I'll just find it myself, I guess. If there would be a better, uh, uh, I suppose. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere to sell the mushrooms here. But well, Safal, no, if, if you could. Well, if there's anybody around here who has a job that they need done, or if, uh, you know, trading, gambling, any sort of thing like that, it looks like this place has been attacked by dragons recently. So I can't imagine them being like, "Yeah, I've got gold to throw." Around. Yeah, the Kalian you know. Church is being rebuilt. Those are absolutely destroyed. Um, the Archmage of Clean's Tower, it's not destroyed, but it is damaged. So I'm gonna put that in. Um, there's not a church to the uh, the Dark God that I need to be destroying here, is there? No, there used to be one, um, but then Kalian turned it into the Kalian <laughs> Church. <laughs> Good for him. Well, what do you fucking know about that? He's gone for a few days and he's already got his Yeah, own so church. if you're walking around town, like you'd, you'd run into people talking about the Church of Kalian. Uh, yeah, he would, and then he'd just be kind of like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> This is not how I imagine this guy down. There's the Great Adventurers Outdoors. Is that a place to, like, sell stuff? Uh, buy stuff? It's a store. Okay, because I don't need my normal loot. I'll go in there and I'll see if I can get a decent price for my fucking loot. All right. So you walk in and there's this motherfucker standing there. Greetings, sir. Um, um... Well, I don't even know. Yeah, all right. Uh, I have this uh, this fine musical instrument. And actually, right before going into the store, he cast Distort Value mm -hmm. on it, um, which basically makes it look like it's worth more. All right. He says, How can I help you? How can I help you, good sir? We don't do a lot of buying here except for extraordinary items. We got everything you could need. We got two for 20 if you want some potions. We got three for 20 if you want some mats. We got a little bit of everything that you might need. Come on, you'll never believe we've got some stuff called Moxie Clean, and it'll take out all the problems that you've got better than any prestidigitation spell. It does sound impressive, yeah. Um, but no, I actually, I have a very extraordinary item. Uh, this loot right here that you might want to take a gander at. Is that the standard loot? Standard yeah, just loot? the normal one. Yeah. Uh, he says, I'm not overly interested in that. We only deal with oddities and curiosities here. Oh, this is a very odd itty. Let me tell you something. Uh, this is the loot of the, uh, the former loot, rather, of the champion of Flit, believe it or not. He used to play this constantly, uh, and you can see that it's a little bit fancier than your average loot, and it's said that its haunted melodies still can be heard even when you don't play it. Uh, deception? Um, he buys it, and uh, how much is the loot normally worth? <laughs> like six gold. Um, He'll offer you 18 gold for it. Well, no, I don't actually know. Let me let me oh. let me look it up officially here, because it might be like just worth silver. <laughs> no, loot? it's worth thirty-five. Thirty-five GP. gold. So he offers yeah. you seventy gold for the loot. Okie dokie, yeah. Uh, also, one hundred percent. I hope this comes up to party one that you just fleeced Billy Days because they'll they tell like you him. why. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so uh I sell him that and I get the fuck out of there and I run for the Krakens and I'm like, we gotta fucking go. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> back to the world map. We take our back our detour. <laughs> and when we start on Sunday, because we'll kind of we've kind of run out of things here, you will be arriving <laughs> in uh Sephals, the city of thieves. I'm going to make sure I, I move these Krakens. Gold, my new golden loot. Fuck yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to move these over here for now, even though that's where they are. Um, and we're going to take... We're just going to move them way off. Where am I way? I just want... No, I'm just going to cut them and move them. I, I mean, I would put them right next to the city and then just hide them from everybody so that way they can't see them. Because we don't want people, we don't want people to be like, why the fuck is there a horde of krakens outside the city? Yeah, I forgot about GM layer. Yep, GM layer. Now nobody can see them. And we just, <laughs> and you are not on the map, so you're good. <laughs> and I will try today to get me a token with my hat on it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so. Oh, dude, man, I have fucking missed the, the dog pound. <laughs> I really have. I can't wait to get back and have the party. Dude, I'm so glad. That's that's the that's the whole thing that I I try and do is is make it so that you guys are having fun. So if you guys are having fun, I'm I'm do I'm having oh, fun. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh boy, and you'll be swapping parties, so that'll be interesting. But and luckily they're yeah, all together. I can't together. wait for us to come up with a reason in universe for us to be swapping parties. I can I can think of one easy reason. They want to murder uh, a fucking Tremius, and you work with them. Yeah, that's a good reason. But I was hoping it'd be more like I could be like, yeah, so I have to kill the Church of Shadow. And somebody in their party would be like, I want to kill it also for shits and giggles. And then I'd just be like, cool, I'm going to I'm gonna roll with you guys now. They all do want to oh, do that, too. Yeah, in, in character, Icarath has his feelings hurt right now because his party left him tied up in an inn. And just left. And, like, sure, they paid for his room for a fuckload of time. But, like, they just left him there. They did. They heroes. And... <laughs> and currently, <laughs> Icarath is being courted by a Kraken now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're being courted by... A... And, wait, but you're being courted by the daughter of one of the... Mem technically, the daughter of one of the members of Party 1. That is going to make for some awkward table talk between me and my potential father-in-law. <laughs> What's also interesting is that he knows that one of his quote-unquote daughters has found love, and he knows what you look like. Jeez. Because Patty told Patty, who has a psionic link, and showed Thalrak. Fucking A. Let's do it. <laughs> so he might actually know who you are just as the love interest of Thaddy. Well, and I like it because I've never met anybody from Party 1. So if he knows what I look like, I'm going to show up with a fancy new hat riding on a pa passel of Krakens. Hopefully right <laughs> into the fucking mix uh, of the battle. Where you'll be? Like well, that. no, because it's not going to be a battle yet. They're still in prep. Oh, okay. So let me go find Safal's here. You're going to be riding in um, probably like right here. And funnily enough, right here is Bartholomew the Traitor's Forge, which is where Thalrak, you know, father of the dwarves, father of the of the little half yeah, the, the Kraken the, the babies, bearded Krakens. Is, is staying with Bartholomew. I fucking like it. This is going to be fucking great. <laughs> it is. So I will I will hit the end for this. Thank you, anybody who watches this on YouTube after the session <laughs> on Sunday. Because <laughs> we're keeping this a secret and it's going to be amazing. And people are probably going to wonder how the fuck did all this happen to Icarat <laughs> in the time since they've he's been gone? Because <laughs> boy, Icarat's done some shit. <sighs> Well, just, just the idea of riding in, because you know that Ikrath gets bored riding for miles and miles on, on Krakenback. Yeah. So um, if it ever comes up in the future, Ikrath, I believe, should have proficiency in riding a Kraken. Yeah, um, you can have that, because actually there is a Kraken riding skill that has already been introduced, and you can have level yeah. two in it. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> So fucking Icarath is proficient in, in Kraken writing, and he's just going to show up to town. He's going to be like, I got to make an entrance. So he's going to be playing his fucking golden boot. Trying to um. see if I can find that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Does this have anything? Yeah. So it's called Kraken Rider, and it is a proficiency. And Thalrak has it as well. It just allows you to ride but Krakens. And did, he, did he fucking ride halfway across No, the that's why you're level two and he's level one. <laughs> 
so I'm going to show up and he's going to be like, I am the father of that Kraken you rode. And I'll be like, yeah, but I rode my Kraken a lot fucking longer, buddy. <laughs> no innuendos. <laughs> Kraken rider. He, he rode Patty through. You remember that part that we just showed you that you went through? Uh, he rolled through that underwater and burst up through the ground in the one chamber, which is how now there's that giant pool in the high class inn where Patty gets her free booze acting, and they negotiated that she's the new bouncer and uh, a bouncer for that club, and they provide her with free booze. I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> but also, I can't wait to see the guys again. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be so much fun. Um, all right. Uh, so what time is the session tomorrow? I, I'm going to say thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye.